Hi, in today's video, we will talk about the live load reduction factor mentioned in IS 875 part 2 clause 3.2.1. It states that the for all supporting structural members except as provided for in 3.2.1.1, the following reductions in assumed total imposed loads on floors may be made in designing columns, load bearing walls, piers and their supports and foundations. You can see the table on the screen. Now we'll go back to the model. Before we begin with the analysis and compare the results, let me show you how to define the live load reduction factor in ETABS. Under the design, you can see the option for live load reduction factors. You can see various options. We'll go to user define and we'll click on define and you can see that I have already defined the live load reduction factor as per IS 875 part 2. As of now, we will select no live load reduction. Now we'll run the analysis. Once the analysis is complete, we'll go for the concrete design. Now once the design is complete, we'll go to an elevation, elevation 3 for example. We'll select this column, we'll right click for decon S2, we'll click on details and you can see we are getting a design force of 400 ton. Now remember this force. Now we'll unlock the model, we'll go to design live load reduction factor and we'll select user define the one we defined as per IS 875 part 2 press ok we'll go to load patterns under the live load we will change the live load type to reducible live modify load press ok now we'll run the model now we'll select the same column right click we'll go to decon s2 station at 0.00, .00 details and you can see that etabs has taken into consideration the live load reduction factor defined by the user and you can see the difference in the design force by 23 ton previously we got 400 ton for the same column and now we are getting a 377.22 ton thank you